two years ago, Portland banned facial recognition cameras. But there's videos of people in Portland, and they're uh, before they can get on like a subway or a bus, it, there's cameras demanding them to look at the camera before it opens the door. So I'm not sure how that works. You're talking about it's like a face scan? Yeah, there's cameras set up to scan people's faces. But Portland banned this. But there's videos on TikTok of people, you know, having to look at cameras. Well, those, and scan those their videos faces. are probably before the ban because there's a lot of videos that exist before things happen. And then on TikTok is infamous of saying it's happening right now. And then when you go look it up, it was like 10 years ago. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it's something like that. But yeah, I guess it's, I, I would think Portland would be one of those places where they try to implement and practice some of this digital identificational scanning because those guys they don't care about nothing that's like everything's legal over there so you would because that seems like one of those things to get more biometrical data like i was talking last week about tsa and the face scans i would assume because yeah that's another prime place because you know the problem with the chinese face scans and the you you see them on cctv but it's not clear because they're so far away and they have to zoom. But now when you go to the airport, that's high definition. You get on a bus, that's high definition. So they, they set up all these cameras and what, they just turn the cameras off or they uninstall them all or are they just sitting there still and they're saying, yeah, it's outlawed. I don't know. It's weird. The fact that it was even there to begin with and it's probably still Well, there. I'm sure it still works. They're just probably not using it now for access it's probably yeah. still recording yeah it's just not you can't get on the bus you can still get on the bus freely but the cameras are still rolling yeah. so maybe what was going on is they used this as an implementational factor they said all right we're going to start doing this to provide safety so we can start scanning everybody's face so we know if there's any criminals we can see it so then they installed all these cameras and then there was an outcry saying, oh, this is invasion of our privacy. We should be able to go on freely without scanning our face. Then they said, okay, fine, we'll stop it. We'll stop mandating that you scan your face. But the cameras are still rolling. Yeah. But now you can still get on freely. Yeah, that's so just give them a, ch a way to put the cameras in. That's probably what it is. Yeah, because it seems maybe it was just too premature, kind of like the target thing. You know, yeah, they, but it's there. The infrastructure is yeah, there. They put their foot forward too far on purpose so that way when everybody complains they just move their foot back a little bit but the infrastructure is still yeah, there yeah it's still there they still put their foot forward they're not taking any steps backward they're actually just moving the foot forward back yeah and when there's a serious enough a serious enough crime oh, yeah. then they can say oh we'll just activate it again which there probably will be there of probably course. will be a staged crime and then they're gonna be like well we could use this this technology to locate the criminal who just killed all your beloved ones and then everybody's gonna be on board with Oh, yeah, it's just false flag stuff. Just yeah. kind of like, you know, you might have a shooting or something, and then they'll use that as an excuse why we need to restrict our Second Amendment Take rights. the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, I, I wouldn't doubt it at all. But, yeah, Portland would be the place to try this. This is one of those areas where the government's like, we don't care what goes on over here. Yeah. And I think it's because they care too much. 